Today I'll teach you an easy way how to find a six-figure grid reference on topographic maps. Let's say you want to find the six-figure grid reference of the church at Friendship. Here is Friendship and here is the church. Step one, outline the grid square in which the feature is located. Step two, read the eastern line to the left of the grid square. The eastern is four, five. To get our final easting, we are going to get a piece of paper and go down to the bottom of the map to the linear scale. We are then going to mark off the measurements against the meter section of the kilometer scale. Make sure your paper is aligned against the meter scale correctly. Now we are going to mark off each measurement. Now that we have our measurement, we are going to place it along the grid square to get our final easting. Now that we have our meter measurements against the grid square, we are going to find out how far away the church is from the main eastern line and remember eastern lines run vertically and therefore we have to align our lines so they run vertically now we can read against the base of the grid square or we can push it against the church directly and here we'll have an easier reading Remember, this is our first easting, which was 45. So this becomes our um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the church, which is here, is between five and six. It's not exactly on the six, but because it's closer to the six point, we're going to work with the six. Again, this first row here represents our major eastern line which is a 45 so this uh, here becomes number one one point away or one tenth away from the main eastern two three four five six and now we're going to go to our answer sheet and we're going to write down our final eastern number here we go and we did say it was six now remember we are supposed to have three eastings and three northings so we are have completed uh, all three eastings now we are ready for 
the final three northerns. Get our northern. We're going to read the northern line at the bottom of the grid square. And here we have our first two northern numbers, nine and three. Some people will say 93, but remember that all numbers, all digits in grid reference are accounted for. So we will say 93. So we'll go back to our answer sheet and we'll write down our first two Nordic numbers. So now we have our two first Nordic numbers. We need one final number to make our answer complete. Now we're going to go back to our paper where we did our markings against the linear scale. And we're going to place it against the grid square. But instead of placing against the grid square like so, we're going to turn it and so the lines will go horizontally. Because remember, northern lines are horizontal lines that increase numerically towards the north. So this would be our first northern, which is a 9-3. And these are the strokes are the ones that follow. So again, we can place it here at the edge of the grid square or we can cut it across the feature, which makes reading a little bit easier. And then we're going to read the we're going to read upwards, northwards. So remember this first eastern line, northern line, I'm sorry, will be nine three. So therefore this is one, two, three, four. And the church is right here. Four. So we're going to go back to our answer sheet and we're going to write our final northern digit. Here we go. And we write our four. So these final three digits are our northerns. Right? Three easterns and three northerns. So our final answer would look something like this. Sorry. Four, five, six, nine, three, four. And there you have it. An easy way how to find good six-figure reference on topographical maps.